This is sometimes Joey Adventures. What's really poppin' friends? My name is Joey, sometimes I play games, and sometimes I leave my home state of Pennsylvania for a church conference in the land of 10,000 lakes, Minnesota! Minnesota! This is the second installment of Adventures. I'm just gonna summarize my trip and make a fervent effort to make this thing funny. See? Philadelphia can be pretty when it chooses to be. It's definitely living a hot girl summer because the humidity is choking me to death. The Jersey Shore- <laughs> The Jersey Shore isn't that far, it's like an hour and some change, but boy, it'll help if Philly had a beach. Maybe in 3038. Oh boy, I'm going on a plane. By the way, that's my church pastor, I guess I need to make a cat face for him. There we go. I nearly got thrown in federal prison because I forgot to remove my Switch and my laptop from their respective bags at the security screening. What's really poppin', friends? My name is Joey. Sometimes I play games and sometimes I get thrown in Super Federal Max prison. Could somebody, somebody please bail me out? I want to go home. PHL is an airport. They offer both departures and arrivals to and from various destinations on Earth. It's time to fly, and of course the inevitable happens. Someone ripped butt cheeks as soon as we reached cruising altitude. Hey, yeah, I'm a scientist. I can, like, answer this for you. So, like, when I did an internet search, the internet uh, told me people fart more on planes because of the change in cabin pressure that causes the gas in their digestive tracts to expand. And as the plane climbs and cabin pressure drops, dropping pressure, the gas can expand up to 30% and take up more space in your stomach the natural result is to completely rip butt cheeks or or just do it because it's really really funny <laughs> also those airline ceos eating their steak and lobster tail don't want you to know this but when they come around to offer you snacks and cold beverages you can just straight up ask them to give you the can when they pour it in a cup for you, you're getting less than a full can of beverage. So they're going to just keep opening them anyway. Just ask. Okay, we've landed safe at MSP, the International Airport of Minneapolis and St. Paul, the only two cities to be born at the same time. We knew we weren't in Philly anymore because people actually used manners and apologized. Here's a cute dog. Oh, wait, I didn't get him to sign a waiver. You guys remember I told a story that involved my uncle in Minnesota. He was kind enough to pick us up. Minnesota is pretty cool, and the fact that it was a solid 10 to 15 degrees cooler than Philly, that really helped. My uncle dropped us off at the hotel. Ah, nothing like staying in a hotel to remind you how dirty your home is back home. We went to a pub, ate some sandwiches. My pastor really doesn't like condiments and toppings. He got a burger that was just cheese, bread, and burger. Today is Thursday, or at least it is on the day that I recorded this footage. And if you're not getting complimentary breakfast at the hotel you're staying at, what's the point? I mostly snuck stuff back to my room this morning because my uncle picked us up so we could go to breakfast at this place called Al's Breakfast. I'm more than happy reading the name of a small business on here. This place smacked. It was on the first season of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, and I got the Jose. Get the Jose. It's delicious. We then go to Mall of the United States of America because it's a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big mall. If only my bank account were just as big. We parked in the main lobster section. It's a shame there were a lot of cool places to eat, but that breakfast was so darn good, and I was stuffed. I'm going to be telling my grandkids about that breakfast one day. Oh, it was amazing, kids. The Jose had hash browns, cheese, salsa, eggs, it smacked. Grandpa, how are you still not monetized? There's the Amazing Mirror Land, and that guy totally looks like he works at Amazing Mirror Land. Did you know there's an amusement park in the mall? Well, corporate greed has taken over, and a certain Orange Foot Children's Television Network has taken over the place. I didn't want to lose my breakfast on any ride, but I did go on the Spanish-speaking girl and monkey friend Ferris wheel ride. I was fine going on my own, but my uncle joined because he thought me going by myself would be depressing. Yeah, they really. Yeah, they really. Uh really made me feel safe. The lack of seatbelt, the uh, ease of this thing uh, moving and shaking, the lack of other people on the ride. 
I got myself a t-shirt, and look at that, the mall and I were invented the same year. Okay, back to the hotel we go. We actually have things to do tonight at this conference. Check out this pulpit, Conrad Fleischmann, you all know who he is, he preached at this pulpit. Praise be the Father, praise 7am, waking up in the morning. This brown sugar was so hard to open, it was clearly sealed in case we got nuked. Back to the conference, more Jesus. Jesus! <laughs> we had a lot of free time midday, I went for a stroll. Look at St. Paul Cathedral, my goodness. I was so nervous that my phone and tripod were gonna fall here. We're near the state capitol. Check out this statue of Hubert H. Humphrey. He invented the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. I went to the state capitol and I was surprised what little security stopped me. Anyone else remember when Jesse the Body Ventura was Jesse the Body Ventura the governor? This Italian po' boy smacked. Ayo, they really call this salted nut roll. We head back to the hotel and I hit the pool. Want to see me jump in? I'm telling you, free breakfast is where it's at, but I'm playing with fire drinking all this free apple juice. It gives me super bad farts. Go to the conference in the morning, then I go to my uncle's house, see my aunt, my cousins, and have some sloppy joes. I know how you skits like them sloppy. Lady, you're scaring us. Ah! So I didn't mention this to anyone at the time, but one of the people there that day was my uncle's wife's brother's son. So like a diet cousin? Anyway, he was there and so was his wife, and his wife's name was... Ew, I don't want to be married. I don't need love. I am love. The final night of the conference included a banquet with salad? Salad? Some little quick salads. You guys aren't into salads. The band got back up and I was feeling a little drowsy. I had a cup of coffee and I was getting lit, yo. I guess that's the Christian equivalent to a beer at a rock concert. Okay, time to go home. This has been an awesome trip. I got to see some family, spend time with like-minded people. Ate wonderful food, and not gonna lie, I could see myself living here if it weren't for the fact that I'd be away from my sports teams. Oh, and we had a four-hour delay coming back. Also, MSP, you have great bathrooms and all, but, but what is this? All the concessions and vendors had this 4.5 hospitality tax added to your things. America, you're getting out of hand with these convenience fees and requesting tips for like, dispensing paper towels. I was dreaming when I wrote this Forgive me if it goes astray But when I woke up this morning Could've sworn it was Judgment Day Baby, baby, why'd you have to go play me like that and say that you didn't want to be married and you said that, ew? Well, like, probably because I don't know you. Like, that's like a good 99.9% contribution to it and then like second like i don't know what you're doing with your voice there it almost sounds like you're you're making the conscious effort to make that your voice i think really just jeremy was using my image as an illustration because your wife happens to have the same first name and i i don't blame her i mean like it's a good it's a good strong first name do you know what it means no i can't say i do it means I'm ready for another ginger ale. Yeah, yeah, 2000, zero, zero, party over, oops, out of time. So, yeah, tonight I'm gonna party like it's 1999, yeah.